Americans know in their gut that the despotism demonically possessing the federal government is only getting started. According to the FBI, Chinese hackers have prepared a barrage of imminent strikes on critical U.S. infrastructure. The purpose of the hacking was not to gather intelligence. The purpose was to install malware that, once activated, would disrupt or damage the infrastructure. As the lights are turned on and the back roaches are scurrying, the panic goes live. Big guns are put into play. As Don Salazar reported, a top meteorologist is warning government weather modification could unintentionally spark conflicts between nations where weather would be used in warfare among countries. Floods, droughts, and wildfires last year were just a preview of what is to come. According to Kister's senior meteorologist, John Jacques, the cloud seeding debacle that precipitated the Dubai floods should serve as a reminder that government influence on the weather can lead to consequences that aren't fully predictable. Jacques says if we're not careful, unrestrained use of this technology could end up causing diplomatic instabilities with neighboring countries engaging in tit-for-tat weather wars. Meanwhile, the next plan begins to rear its ugly head. You say the next pandemic. There will be another pandemic. Absolutely. We don't know when. You know, the risk per year, 2%, 3%. Uh... Do we have the capability to ensure that we don't see another pandemic, the like of which uh, we saw while you were leading the World Health, or- the World Health Organization? <laughs> 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 yeah. Whenever you connect to the internet on a public Wi-Fi network at airports, coffee shops, friends' houses, or even at your own home, your data is at risk of being stolen and spied on. That's why we recommend and use private internet access. Private internet access helps protect your personal data by encrypting your internet connection through their world-class server infrastructure, which makes your information shielded and bulletproof. Private internet access has had an audit done conducted by a big four firm, as they know VPN use is tied to trust, letting you be sure their 100% no logs policy is safe and secure. Streaming services such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus and more have different library options based on where you are located and some shows cannot be accessed if you are not located in the region. Private internet access helps you overcome these restrictions by giving you the option to change your IP address to one of their 91 countries to choose from and all 50 US states, allowing you to gain access to websites and services that are only available in those locations. Private internet access is available for all platforms, and you can use one private internet access subscription to protect an unlimited amount of devices at the same time. Get 83% off plus four months free of private internet access using our link for a limited time. Click the link in the description or visit piavpn.com slash anonymous official and protect all your devices. Add to that the Soros-funded communist college jackbooting summer awaiting us, incoming CBDCs, nuclear war on a hair trigger, uniparty-backed Orwellian speech laws, and Biden's illegal voting bloc leading up to an unprecedented presidential election. All hell is gonna break loose. Something big. Mark Zuckerberg may be planning on his Hawaiian estate. Wired reports that Meta's founder is building a mega compound of okay. roughly <laughs> 1,400 acres of land on the island of Kauai, including an underground bunker with a concrete-filled metal door. The residents reportedly will have up to a dozen buildings with some 30 bedrooms and 30 bathrooms. The two main residences will be reportedly connected by a tunnel that leads to the underground shelter. Another feature that's according to Wired includes 11 tree houses connected by rope bridges that travel along the estate. The report says it will cost more than $270 million Woo! to build. There's Quarter already some controversy uh, from indigenous uh, people in the region who are upset about the disruption that this has caused. But this got me thinking about a book, a new okay. book that's out recently by Douglas Rushkoff. It's called Survival of the Richest. He's a professor mm. at City University of New York. He calls this nervous billionaires <laughs> building bunkers. He writes that here are the wealthiest, most powerful people I've ever met, yet they feel utterly helpless to avoid the inevitable event. Automatically guided car, a self-driven car, 
We'll come to your hotel or wherever you are, and we'll bring you to the airport. Actually, I had a discussion some months ago with the mayor of Los Angeles, and you know Los Angeles is one of the cities with the heaviest traffic, who told me in 2030 Los Angeles will be private car driven free. And this will allow to transform highways into parks and other public spheres. This robot clone was given consciousness using the memory files of Bina Rothblatt, a real estate broker. Check this out. She's an android with her own thoughts, memories, and personality. Anybody familiar with the compasses and square symbol of Freemasonry? With the G in the middle? Well, that's what the G stands for at the highest level. They'll talk about many, many porch masons. These are the exoteric masons that are given the teachings of the profane and they think they're in the know, okay? They're given the, the information, well, this only means geometry, it only means God, etc. okay? One of the things they'll tell you it means in, at a slightly higher level is that it means gnosis, knowledge. At a higher level, at illuminated levels of Freemasonry, which are above 30, 32nd degree, they will give you what the real meaning of the G inside the compasses and square is. And it is the generative principle. It means genesis, creation. Do you think we need to worry about what they're putting in our electronics? Yeah, I mean, I'll give you one example. I, I bought this awesome vacuum called Tinico. It completely connects to a Chinese server to transmit and receive information. When you plug it in, it says charging started, charging stop. I can control that with my computer through a Chinese cloud server. There's no reason that vacuum and mop should connect to a Chinese cloud, but uh, it does. And at any point, they can change the way that functionality works and take over my home network with this vacuum mop. So Are you seared with a vacuum mop? Yeah. I'm going to give you a secret. Nothing in this world operates the way you think it does. We're talking money. We're talking control, corporations, big business, period. And all religions operate under maritime admiralty law. There are only two things on the earth, land and water. So there are two kinds of law, the law of the land and the law of water. The law of the land is the custom of the people who live on a particular piece of land. So the law of the land is different in every country. I mean, you can do things in Russia you can't do in America. Once you understand the law of water, it opens up a world, hidden symbols and hidden foundations on how we live. When you walk into a courtroom, why do you go to court? You play basketball on the court. You play tennis on a court. The judge walks out. He, he rules from the bench. The word bench is a bank in Latin. So the judge is ruling from the bank. That's why he wears a black robe. The black robe represents the planet Saturn, who in the ancient world was called Lord of the Ring. So women were told in the ancient world to listen to their god. So they would wear an ear ring. Men were to get married before their god, so they wear a wedding ring because Saturn was Lord of the Rings, and he is also the inhibitor. He was the one who holds you back. He represents government, banking, the police department, all kinds of institutions that are powerful that can hold you back. He was the inhibitor. It's artificial? Yes, it's hormones artificial, completely artificial. It was brought here from Ursa Minor, like between 11 and 12,000 years ago. For the purpose of being a satellite in the day. Which, you know, they evacuated some time ago, but it's now uh, being operational again. It came from a star system called Chop Top, and it was the 17th planet out of a, a solar system that had 21 planets, and it was one of four moons. It was brought here. It is older than the Earth. There are ruins all over it. There are bases underneath it. It's everything that we're told it isn't. Did the Navy accidentally teleport one of their own ships? This is the story of the Philadelphia Experiment. In 1943, the U.S. Eldridge was center of a Navy experiment dealing with technology that supposedly could make an entire ship invisible. But little did the Navy know, they were about to discover a new type of technology they had not planned on. A merchant marine by the name of Carl Allen claimed to have witnessed the event. Now, Carl states that the Navy was working on a technology that would make an entire ship invisible on a radar and to the naked eye. However, on the day of the experiment, things went terribly wrong. At first, it seemed like it worked. The device was turned on, and then a green mysterious fog surrounded the ship, and then it vanished. And this is when things get really weird. At the same time it had vanished from the shipyard in Philadelphia, a Navy crew all the way in Norfolk, Virginia had witnessed the U.S. Eldridge appear from a mysterious green fog before vanishing shortly after. Then, a few hours later, the ship reappeared back in the port in Philadelphia and seemed to be unscathed. 
Then they noticed the crew. Supposedly, some of the crew members who survived were fused into the ship's metal, with only half their bodies sticking out of the floor, and other members were partially fused into other structures, while the rest of the crew, they were missing altogether. And although this story hasn't been proven to be true, you gotta keep in mind this was back in the 40s, so you can only imagine what kind of technology our government has today. Who do you think is the most powerful man on the planet? It's BlackRock, State Street, and Vanguard. These three companies are the largest shareholders of 88% of S&P 500 companies. Do you know how much total money there is in the world circulating? It's around $430 trillion, $440 trillion. They control $66 trillion of the entire world's wealth. So the commander in chief is not who we think it is. It's the CEO of BlackRock, Vanguard, State Street. It's people like Larry Fink and George Soros. They have influence. We've always been like, is it good for a guy like Elon Musk to be as rich as he is? Elon Musk is nothing compared to what these guys are doing collectively together. We've covered material and we've recovered the occupants. And beyond that, you know, the president can decide what should be disclosed. It's above my pay grade. Can you just give us a sense of the scale of mm. these recoveries? It's like three or is it? It uh, is double digit. And I've mentioned that publicly. I am familiar with the exact numbers. Um, we had multiple intel officers brief us on all the numbers and where, what, when, where, or how. Where is all the stuff kept? I mean, I assume that... I do know of some specific some locations. Boeing Raytheon warehouse. I mean, uh, Harry Reid knew about one specific location, and that was the, the material that he was denied access to. What, why didn't he show up with armed guards and demand to see it? I don't understand. Everyone's so passive. Yeah. You're the Senate Majority Leader. Show it to me now. Yeah, you would think that there's some kind of enforcement tactic he could have used. He was trying to get access administratively by sponsoring that special access. So that kind of raises an interesting, you know, having spent my life in Washington, you know, you hear this stuff, you don't really know if it's true, um, you know, about unauthorized and dark things going on in the United States to people who tell its secrets. I will never dream of your love to take me there. You take me there.